Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm currently in an area called Craven Arms and Nick and I are doing a glamping experience which is actually something that I bought him for our one year anniversary together. I think that was my gift to him. Um, so we're sort of in Shrewsbury, Shropshire kind of area and the scenery behind me is genuinely stunning. We got here last night, it's Saturday morning at the moment. I'm honestly like so impressed, I've never been glamping before. I don't think Nick's been glamping before but we have our very own glamping pod. We're staying in this pod right here, number five. And we're on a campsite that has glamping pods, caravans, um, like motorhome st style things and yeah, so lovely. It's a little bit dreary today, the weather is not looking the best, it's like very overcast, very cloudy, but honestly it's so so pretty and the scenery around here is literally, it's literally stunning. The people who work at this campsite as well are so 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 lovely. Um, so I actually vlogged a little bit last night but I didn't film the intro so I'm just gonna like pop that footage. In. So we have come to our little glamping pod. The site looks really really nice and I will show you around the site tomorrow um, and obviously be able to give you a bit of a better tour of our pod but it's like half past nine at the moment so it's kind of pitch black outside. I am just on our bed. We've actually brought a electric blanket with us as well just in case it gets really cold but to be honest it seems all right like it seems like it's not like deathly cold like i was kind of expecting like when i went to cream fields and it was literally unbearable so this is nice there's also like a little bit of a heater as well in the room um there which is sort of slowly 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 warming up nick's just outside smoking some weed as you do <laughs> we went to asda on the way and we picked up some snacks actually i'll show you in the fridge we have like four cans of stella we've got some um squash we've got some milk as well because i have some weed fixed in me um but we got barbecue pop chip absolute essential the best flavor of barbecue the best flavor of pop chip and then second best flavor thai sweet chili actually you know what i like thai sweet chili so much i'm like contemplating moving them to like thai first place hi people what people? some strawberry neutral grain i actually haven't tried these before but they look nice I don't like it when I need to pee in the middle of the night. I'm gonna have to pee more Like me, I'll come with you. Some Harry Potter tank plastic. These are for Nick. You know, because these aren't vegetarian. Her are there. But they're so nice. And then we've got the standard Harry Potter star mix, which are all right. Um, oh, I have some corn cocktail sausages in the fridge as well. And I have some fire stick pepperoni. Some what? Fire stick pepperoni. 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 And then. I don't feel like I'm that, but pepperoni. You said pepperoni. You said you said something at first. I don't know what it was. I'm just gonna sneak over here. Aero. It's maybe the pepper roll on it. Aero dreamy snow bubbles. So hopefully that should last us. The two. Well, we're only really here for one full day. We actually have to be out of here on Sunday at eleven. So I think we're gonna watch the latest episode of Game of Thrones because we haven't watched that and we need to catch up. And the last one in the series. It's the last. Yeah, it's the very last one. There's so been spoilers all over. TikTok. Well, I haven't seen any of the spoilers, so... So I'm just heading over to the shower block literally like a two minute walk from where we're staying which is kind of ideal because when you wake up in the middle of the night and you need to pee you don't really want to be walking out you we've got some toilets here and then these three are all showers and then if we walk around we have two more toilets here and then this little section is essentially like where you fill up your drinking water you can come and put your like washing up like your bowls and stuff here too um, and then there's some like little latte thing there, which I think is quite cute. And there's also like information stuff to do near where we are, visit Shropshire. And yeah, this is kind of like the washing up kind of area if you have any washing up to do. And then the reception is actually just around there. Um, it's someone's house who actually like lives here and they run the park. It's a couple, they're really lovely. I met them yesterday. Let's take a look at the shower room. It's actually like really nice and incredibly clean. Just got standard amenities. I have already acclimatised quite well, as you can see, just walking around in my little shorts. It's actually not cold at all, um, but this is, that's another glamping pod, and then 
another glamping pod here. There isn't actually many. Like, if you look across the entire site, there's probably about six or seven glamping pods, and then there's spaces for caravans too. So it's like a caravan park. And this is our glamping pod for the night. I quite like this one because it's kind of hidden away um, behind this huge ash tree. We have this little fire place here, and you can basically pay a fiver um, to use this, like a fiver deposit. <laughs> We might do that later. And then we've got a little table and chairs. Um, it did rain last night, obviously, which is why it's all a bit damp. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Very, very cute. I've only just now noticed that butterfly on the top there. I will show you inside. It's quite small, but it's got everything you need. Ignore all of our crap on the bottom there. That's just like bags and stuff. And then we just have this bed, um, a window. I think on camera, to be honest, it actually looks a bit smaller than it feels. It feels much bigger than I thought. Like there's a fair bit of space. The bed's actually quite a decent size as well. I'm just looking out at the view. I could definitely get used to just waking up and having this as my view. It would probably be a little bit nicer if it wasn't so foggy, but... So, ignore what I look like because I'm halfway through getting ready. Good old Nicholas, whilst I slept in, has gone to Starbucks. You look so funny in the corner. <laughs> and he has picked up the new sour apple frappuccino. Is this a medium? Yeah. I was going to say. It looks like there's like... I don't really know what's happening on the top, to be honest. That looks chocolate crazy. Bits and cream on. I mean, I don't really ask for the chocolate bits. Well, oh. we'll see. We're going to give it a try. We're going to we're going to share this because we don't actually think we're going to like it. Because sour apple sounds disgusting, to be honest. But with a cream, like a sour yeah. apple milkshake, just doesn't sound good. Sounds does it? rank. But in 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 the spooky festive season, we thought we'd commit to giving it a try. So let's do it. I'm unsure. <laughs> give it a try. It's more like candy apple than sour apple. No, I can't describe that flavour. I don't think I really like this very much, though. I think it actually the cream makes it worse. Yeah, I do. Luckily, Nick has bought my usual as well. <laughs> I'm going to give this, like, four. Four out of ten. Mm, I think that's fair. It's all right, but I'd never opt to buy this again, to be honest. No, the more I drink it, the less I like it. The more I drink it, the more sour it becomes. That is the problem. Lucky for us, Nick's got my usual. I did a little Greg's run as well. And he got... Two of these, how cute are they? Oh my god, so I don't know what's happened this morning but there were some really weird noises outside in the campsite and Nick was telling me it was like gunshots and like people were just like shooting or something like like clay pigeon shooting but I think he's chatting shit. I don't know what it was, like but it was, yeah it did sound, it did sound a bit like a gunshot. So that should have caught you up. I think we're going to drive into Ludlow because Ludlow is around 20 minutes from here and just see what's happening in Ludlow, have a little bit of a walk around. <laughs> made it to Ludlow and it looks very pretty so we're gonna go explore. I have been to Ludlow before but it was like literally years ago when I was a kid so I really don't remember it very well but yeah we're gonna have a little walk around. back from having some pizza in Ludlow. Ludlow. We went to a place called Sourced Pizza. Sourced. 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 And it was very good. I, neither of us really wanted pizza to be honest, but that was the only place that was open everywhere, sort of stopped serving food for some reason by like four o'clock. Yeah, and we don't leave till Saturday. super late. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, for, yeah, it was literally, wasn't it, four o'clock on a Saturday and everywhere would just stop serving food. Make it make it. sense. I had this starter which we shared that was like a cheesy, Kachapuri. like, Kachapuri. Ka ka kacha 
puree. Puree. Apparently, I've never heard of it before, but it was delicious. It was literally like truffle cheese with like bread with like some garlic and like a bunch of different herbs. It was delicious. It was like, like in an eye shape, wasn't it? And it had like a crust around the edge, like yeah. pizza. Well, and then you would it was have just been, like yeah, literally yeah. filled with cheese. Delicious. So good. That was insane. Like, but you couldn't really eat that much because it was so rich. No, but, like, I could have ate so much. Oh, it was so nice. That's gonna mess my stomach up. I can, I can already feel it messing my stomach up to be honest. And then we each had a pizza. I had a Mexican vegan pizza, which had like black beans and yeah vegan cheese sweet, sweet corn. corn there was like a lot there was a lot of, it was basically like a mexican combined with italian it was actually very nice it was a little bit spicy it was delish i asked for a nine inch nick asked for a 12 inch the difference was like not it was yeah. not three inches it was no. nick's was literally like twice the size of mine like mine looked more like it was like 13 inch didn't it yeah and yours looked like it was barely seven i don't really know what to do it's like six o'clock mm-hmm I'm going to have a shower because I feel a bit disgusting. We don't have any games or anything to play. Mm. I've got Pokemon. Is it a two-player game? Me and Nick just had a little look at the stars outside because it's very low light pollution here. So the stars are like super, super clear outside and it's very beautiful. And the fireworks are also going off because it is nearly... Like, so there's some fireworks going off as well. I think we're going to watch The Great Showman. Yep. Well, we finished watching the House of the Dragon last night and it was a very good last episode to finish on until the next one. Um it's a bit of the way to Yeah, like, it is it is about the way. Some new characters brought in though. Looking forward to the castings. Looking forward to the casting. Me too. I'm looking forward to see what the F happened. So we came back from having pizza and I don't know why because I was really full, but then I ate like a whole bag of those like aero snow balls or snow bubbles or something like that they look half white half milk also i ate one of those like greg's cookies like a whole cookie the halloween thing it was actually quite big oh, the bath. so now my stomach i don't really know what's happening it doesn't really feel very happy i think it's kind of confused there's a lot going on and i feel like this vlog is going to be really boring because he's not really doing anything but we're just like filming the whole thing anyway <laughs> What up, bitches? No, I'm not gonna start starting like that. Hi. We are sadly on the way home now. We've packed up our little glamping pod this morning and we're driving back home. And it's so sad, but we got an extra hour of sleep because the clocks went back last night. Oh. Summarize it in three words. Three words only. Um, relaxing, quiet, and uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah, my So relaxing and uncomfortable? Oh no. It was very quiet though, which was nice, but the bed wasn't the most comfy. No, it wasn't. Kind of slanted downwards, and Nick was on the side that it was slanting downwards. The camping pod itself, it was small, it was cosy. Like, it could have been a bit bigger, but it was still, like, it is what it is. Like, I would actually I would actually recommend that place if anyone is, like, sort of in the Shrewsbury area. I'll, like, put the name of the glamping place down below. But yeah, it was nice, and, like, I think for... I think the, the original, like gift voucher thing that i bought for you was like 90 quid so for two nights for two people that's not really too bad do you know what i mean so i don't think it was that expensive but still nine pounds two nights two yeah i think that's quite good and like obviously like you it's it's nicer than actual camping because like i got to have a shower and that was nice with like actual hot water and like working toilets that aren't port loose and like do you know what I mean? And like the the bathrooms and the toilets and everything were very clean. Like the facilities were like very clean and nice. So I'm sorry that this vlog was a bit Boy. nothingness. It, we didn't really do much. We just had a relaxing weekend. Subscribe, like, comment down below if you've ever been glad before. Do all the good stuff.